Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Amy. Today, I'm really excited to share with you some items that I received from Temu. I'm also really excited that they have partnered with me so that you can get a $100 coupon bundle when you use my link, which is in the description box below, or search my code DMR2267 on the Temu app to claim, like you type it into the search bar and the coupon bundle will come up. So we are gonna check out all of this. They have a ton of scrapbooking stuff. We're gonna go through all these stickers and planner things and scrapbooking things. So much stuff. It is free shipping on items that ship from Temu and free returns for up to 90 days. And then they have a delivery guarantee. So we're just gonna dump it all out. I will link everything down below so that if there's something that you see, you can go check it out. But it, I have a big bag of things and we are just gonna figure out what to look at first. Because, oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> And there's more. <laughs> and there's more. Okay, we're almost done. All right, is that everything? That's everything. Okay, the pens are falling out first, so we might look at the pens first. <laughs> okay, so as you can tell, this is a ton of stuff. So I will tell you what it is and put the information on screen if I can, but it's all linked down below in the description, as I mentioned. So thank you so much to Temu for sending me these goodies. Okay, so these are some pens. They're 0.5 millimeter pens. It's a 10 pack and it was super reasonably priced. So I will do a review on them and let you know how they are. Okay. We're gonna save all the washi tape for later because that's like my favorite thing ever. So we're just gonna leave that there. And let's look at this. Okay, what is this? Oh, stamps. Okay, so this is a 10 stamp set. I, a fingerprint ink pad, but it could be really good for scrapbooking and these were super bright colors. Oh, it is more than 10. It is, is it 20? Okay, it is 20 ink pads. They're really thin, so there isn't a ton on them. They're supposed to be for fingerprinting, but I thought they might be pretty fun for um, scrapbooking. They're colors that I don't have, like the silver looks cool. This is a super bright green. It's all really bright, but there's a lot of colors in here. And then in here somewhere else is something that will work with them. Um sponge sponge daubers so these looked interesting too i've seen people using these for their art journaling as i've been getting more into that so i thought i could use them together so we're just going to actually grab a piece of paper and test these things out because i'm interested we've got some paper let's first check out this pen It seems to write pretty well from both top down and side angle. I waited, you know, like what, five seconds or something and it didn't smear, so that's pretty good. Quick drying, that's great. All right, we're gonna try a few of these colors out, but not all the colors, cause we have so many things to open up, but so first of all, it's supposed to be a finger ink pad, so you can go like that and then like that. But we are gonna try it like this instead. And it can be, oh, you can put your finger in here too. Uh, it can be really nice for creating backgrounds in your art journaling and things. And then you just put it away and grab the next one for your next color. And I like purples and pinks, so let's try those together. They blend pretty well, pretty cool. I like this case too, I just think it's really fun. <laughs> okay, what else do we have? 
Oh, okay. These are colored pencils. I thought they looked really fun. So let's get that piece of paper back. <laughs> These are metallic colored pencils. So comes with a bunch of colors, as you can see. Let's see. how it looks. There's a little bit of shine in it. It's a little hard to see probably on camera, but when I go like this, there's a little glimmer. Um, so that's pretty cool. So there's a set of, what is this, 12 um, metallic colored pencils and 12 neon colored pencils. So these are super bright. Let's try like neon orange. Oh wow, that's bright. That's fun. Okay, so these are going to be fun to play around with. Okay, before we get into all the other scrapbooking things. Okay, more pens. Okay, we're coming back. <laughs> these are 10 colors metallic pens. So they are sort of like a little brush pen, but it's pretty hard. It doesn't bend as well as like a Tombow dual brush pen, but they are very metallic. Super cool. Um, there are all these colors. So many pens and things to play with. <laughs> okay. That's more washi tape. Let's just organize these into some different things so we can look at like categories. So paper, 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 paper. These are stickers. Okay, scrapbooky goodness. I think stickers. Super fun, you guys. Okay, this this one we'll look at really quick because it's kind of not the same as all the scrapbooky stuff. This is just watercolor paper, but it is cut round for you. I thought that was cool. And I have a bunch of new watercolors, so I thought I could actually try to paint some things on these cute little watercolor paper things. All right, pens we'll look at in a moment. I'm just organizing because I'm getting out all the big things. <laughs> okay, that we'll look at. All right, so we'll look at the pens in a minute. These bags are huge. Um, oh, there's something else underneath. I did not know these bags would be super big, but they're crafty, like, bags to hold things. If I can get into it. So it can hold, like whole sets of scrapbook papers or things like that and keep things separate. I thought it'd be good if I'm working on projects and going around the house and working on multiple projects to like put everything in here and just like put it in my bag so they don't all just like fall out um, all over the bag and then I can't find anything. So this came with five ba huge bags to carry craft supplies around with. All right, then this is super cool. It is a sticker notebook, but we gotta fold it, apparently. So you can put your sticker sheets or loose stickers or anything in here. So it'll probably lay flat once it's been, you know, folded for a little while, but it's got these pockets and you can just put the stickers in there. So excited about that one. All right. <laughs> almost all the really fun scrapbooky stuff. Let's look at these pens. These are shiny pens, glitter highlighter pens. I've seen glitter pens before. I have some, but I've never seen shiny uh, highlighters before. Look at that like sparkle on it. That is so cool. It's all glittery. It definitely is wet looking. It's gonna smear. You have to let it dry. But that is cool and sparkly. Let's look at another. So 
sparkly and fun. Oh my goodness. Okay, these pens are fun. All right, so now the last non-scrapbooky planner thing is a tiny desktop vacuum cleaner. So if you're using a pencil and erasing a lot or have lots of little sticker scraps, this looks like it could be really fun to use. I probably need batteries or to charge it. Um, so I'm not going to test it out right here. Let's see, just looking. All right, so the way it works is you turn counterclockwise to open the lower cover so you can pour out the debris. So that's how you open it. That's easy. And this is the on button, but we need batteries. I will figure it out at a later date and let you all know in my stories how it works. Okay, getting into all the scrapbooky goodness. So first we have these, I'm not even gonna take these out of the bag because they're gonna fall everywhere, but they're these tiny little like droplets to add to art journaling pages. They come in all sorts of sizes and they're just little clear things to add to the art journaling page. So I thought that looked really cool. Okay, next up, stencils and stamps, because you guys know I love my ink, and I love all the things that go with them. So this is cool. It has a little um, ring so I can put all the stencils onto it, but it's a stencil pack. People have been asking me where to get stencils because I use a lot of them, um, but these ones looked pretty cool. Just all sorts of abstract backgrounds that you can use um, with your inks. So super cool. This one looks like um, a tree with the knots in the wood. That's cool. A little brick pattern here. Super fun. Um, I'll be using those. I'll put those with my other stencils. And then a whole bunch of abstract stamps. As you guys can tell, I've... <laughs> been kind of on the art journal train lately. It's a fun like creative outlet and all these stamps with different designs are super cool. All right, next up is another stamp set and it had all these cool little shapes on it. Um, I love this one and this one, just super cool and unique and I love the look. <laughs> and this one is more of the same, but with different designs. So if we go from the back, you can see it better, but all sorts of fun little designs right here. Here's like a brick wall, that's cute. All right, then here are some stickers and things. Okay, these look so cool. These are the Broken Wall Illusion. I think it's 10 pieces. But look, it's like a broken wall into space. And I really cannot wait to use these to make something. Like that is stunning. I love it. We'll put that to the side. And these ones are, I don't even remember what these ones are. But it's got all sorts of bottles. Maybe, I think I got it for Halloween-y things, like potions and skeletons, tonic of mushrooms. Yeah, definitely Halloween vibes. Oh, here it says Halloween potion spells. And these are stickers as well. You have to peel them since they're die cut. All right, as I go through all this, let me know which ones you want to see me use um, first. Okay, then we've got these quotes. I use a lot of quote stickers, but I've only got um, ones on black paper and white paper. So this set looks pretty cool because there are all sorts of colors with some really nice quotes. Let 
but look at all these color options. So fun. All right, tiny little sticker pack, Halloween windows. So these are really fun and I'm all about Halloween right now. So I'm gonna be using these really quickly. But they have a lot of different designs and really fun. How many times can I say like so cute and all that stuff before it gets old? <laughs> all right, here's a butterfly sticker pack. But it's a little different than what I'm used to seeing with butterflies because these are like darker ones. They're like black and gold and things like that. And I mean, there are florals with it and stuff too, but just super unique and different from the other butterfly stickers I already have. Okay, so there were the stickers. Oh, this is a, a pack of six. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is a bunch of stickers. All sorts of things. So this one is the Afternoon Book Pavilion. So you can buy it in the six pack or these individually, I think, I would assume. But this is the six pack. Um... These are kind of holographic. Look at that. Do you see that holographic? <laughs> so this is like book nook one. Super fun. And we've got so much to unbox. I will put them back in their wrappers later <laughs> for storage. All right, this one's take a summer nap. So it's got comfy chairs and plants. All right, the next one is Rose Window. All right, next up is Rose Window. These ones are pretty, very spring. I probably won't use these until, you know, we're through fall and winter, but They've got books on them still and all sorts of fun stuff. All right, then I was really excited for these because I can use these right away. This one's Autumn Forest Yard. So this one we can jump right into with some autumn houses. They have two of each of the five designs, I believe. So here's a window a little book area, another house, and then two that are ready for the holidays. So Pleasant Snow and then Christmas Town. And I love all things blue in the winter, just like the snow and winter vibes. So these are gonna be super fun. Some of these would be really good for Dutch doors because you've got two of them and they're pretty symmetrical. So you could do one on each side um, for your Dutch doors. That's cool. All right, this is so cute, so Christmassy. I love this little Christmas kitchen vibe. All right. Look at all the, what I think are papers next. Some of them might not be, but let's take a look. <laughs> all right, this says flowers bloom. Oh, this is all loose. There's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, look at this. Oh my gosh, there's paper and stickers. Okay, so this is very spring. Lots of windows and butterflies. 
Oh, that one's pretty. Purple and blue are like my favorite things together. Okay, so these are all on like the PET uh, material. And then it looks like there are some, are these? These are, these are like translucent, like washi stickers. Um, and it looks like it is just the same themes. And then a whole bunch of paper. This is so cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, then we've got, okay, this says Deco sticker on it. So are these stickers or scrapbook papers? These are stickers too, you guys. So cool. So these are also on PET material and they're not see-through or anything. And they're all like botanical scrapbooky vibes. You've got your paint set and your journals. You've got coffee and baguettes and snacks. This one's really pretty. I love the tiny little sticker book. The only thing, I love the pet tape material, but it's so hard to see through each one. So I hope my hand here is helping. <laughs> All right. Getting towards the end of this book. I wonder how many pages that was. I don't know, but that is really cute. All right, this one's definitely paper. These are kind of, kind of like doilies. So <laughs> what they remind me of, but they're frames. So you, they're perfect for art journaling. I'm really excited about these. Couple different colors and designs of them. That's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, jumping back into autumn stuff. This is 60 pieces of stickers and 12 sheets of paper. So it's kind of like a kit. I love the watercolor look to all of these. All right, and then here are stickers. Looks like there are two sheets of the same um, before it goes to a new pattern. So we've got three different sticker sheets, uh, well, six sticker sheets, three different uh, sets. Okay, next up, lots of fun Halloween type stuff. I'm glad this got here when it did so that I still have plenty of time to do some Halloween junk journaling. But look at these fun, fun little paper packs. Okay, this one also is a fun, fun paper pack. The dancing skeletons just really got me. Look at that. <laughs> but this one's kind of whimsical and fun. This one says desolate wasteland on it. Let's see what that means. <laughs> Let's see what it is. All right, it says vintage and collection. Okay, this is just paper as well. These are kind of like haunted houses. And then this one, oh, Desolate Wasteland might be the brand because this one also says Desolate Wasteland on it. And it's definitely a little different, but still papers that are all spooky super fun. Okay, so these are going to be kind of for my Halloweening. All right, and then we have all of these. <laughs> 
so many washi tapes. You guys, I ran out of washi tape space already. Um, so I need to figure out how to store all of this. Do I buy more drawers? Do I, I don't know. Okay, so this is washi tape thin, um, kawaii style. Let's see if I can get it open. Oh, it's taped. That's why I can't get it open. One second. Okay, it took me a moment, but I found my scissors. So I'm not gonna pull these out except just one. So it's a thin amount of washi, but quite a few. And they're pretty cute. Like this one has little teacups on it. And this one has these little animals and the stars and the moon. Pretty cute. Okay. Next up, these ones looked really fun for some scene building. And like five or six different ones that were like this, but I got two of them. So we've got the cars, the clouds, and the houses. So that looked pretty fun too. We're gonna do a lot of fun scene building art, uh, art journal spread soon using these things. All right, and this one is like, some bricks and a, oh, it shows you right here how you could do it. Look, uh, bricks, a uh, little uh, fence with flowers and some rocks. Oh, and here's how they do that one. So there you go. <laughs> All right, here are some more scene building things. This one looks pretty cute. This one's called Grass Diary if we can get into this one to get a good view. Look at how cute that is. It's kind of translucent and sparkly on the clear part, uh, which is unexpected, but cool. I apparently have one more of these ones. This one's foresty and mountainy. So it looks like that. There are the three options there. Right, this looks like clouds. If I can get into it. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. See, there's a little bird in there, but it's just little sections of sky with those purples and blues that I told you I love. <laughs> this is so many things. I think. I think it was like 40 items. So there won't be any art journaling with this because this unboxing is going to be very long. <laughs> but let me know what you want to see and I'll make a list. Look at these clouds. They're so cute. I definitely want to do something like scene based with all these clouds and fun things really soon. Right, then this looked pretty cool. This is um, like coffee stains. And you guys know I love my coffee and coffee stickers and all things. It got a little bent up, but luckily washi tape usually, it doesn't matter what shape it's in when it's rolled, it still works pretty well. So that's what it looks like 
Super cute. All right, we've got both of these, which are, again, slightly sparkly, kind of holographic looking. This one's called Light Surround, and it's got um, all these lanterns hanging from a tree or vines or something. Let's find out. Okay, so let's see. Oh gosh, this is so pretty, you guys. Can you see that? I love it. Oh my goodness, that is so much fun. All right, what is this other one? It, this other one is like that. It also says light surround, so maybe that's the brand or maybe they're both just titled that. Oh my gosh, can't get into it. <laughs> So this one, I can't decide which I like better. This one or the lantern one, because this one with those star lights is so much fun too. It's just so cute. Okay, <laughs> then last but certainly not least is this six piece set of washi tapes. And it was all sorts of text. And I always want to put more like text in some of my spreads. Um, and I thought this was a fun little set to get some more words and things. I'm not going to unroll all of them, but I'll show you this one. So it's like shine, cloud, love and peace, sun kissed. Um, and then they have other little things on it. And then, so there are six of them with all sorts of things. And then it has right here, you could zoom in to see um, what some of the other ones say. But yeah, oh boy, you guys, that was a lot of stuff. Thank you so much to Temu for sending it over to me. As a reminder, uh, if you use the link or my code, which I'll put up in the description box, um, there's a $100 coupon bundle for you. Um, Thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you want to see me use first in my art journal or creative journal or planner or whatever. Um, see you guys all in the next video. Bye.